हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फिजियो ट्रेंड्स माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज फिजियो क्वेस्ट सीरीज एंड दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन विद यू ऑल यू हैव बीन गिवन वंडरफुल आंसर्स एंड आई नो दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज अ बिट ट्रिकी वन सो दैट इज वाई यू माइट हैव फाउंड सम डिफिकल्टीज बट डोंट वरी आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इट वेरी ईजी एंड वेरी सिंपल टू अंडरस्टैंड दी क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स गो टू द क्वेश्चन वट इज आस्ट फॉर दिस वीक इन द फर्स्ट डे which is on tuesday the question somewhere goes like this that if a patient is diagnosed with uncompensated metabolic acidosis which of the following will be most likely findings that you will see in the abg analysis all right so now it's a very simple question the first information what we have got is uncompensated metabolic acidosis and second one is according to this diagnosis we have to find out what of the following will be found whenever the abg analysis is done all right so so in this ph we have to consider it as a father of the family so wherever whichever the side the father of family decides to go that side the whole family has to travel that is a normal thing that you, you should remember for the better understanding so now let's say the normal value for ph is 7.35 to 7.45 so if the value goes down from 7.35 to less than that it is considered as acidotic condition and if the value is going up than 7.45 it is considered as alkalosis condition and on the basis of this we are going to decide below depending on pso2 and hco3 value that whether it is metabolic condition or it is respiratory condition all right moving forward to pso2 now pso2 is considered as the segment of the respiratory component right so because of that anything goes wrong with the pso2 will be considered as respiratory acidosis or respiratory alkalosis now what is the normal value for uh, pso2 so it is 35 to 45 anything goes below 35 is considered as alkalosis and anything goes above 45 is considered as acidosis so it's very simple to understand here also when reading it is going less than 35 it is alkalosis condition if it is going more than 45 considered as acidotic condition the third segment in this abg analysis is hco3 bicarbonate which is a component of metabolic condition so metabolic condition in which which means what that in this again yeah the normal value are 22 to 26 anything goes below 22 is considered as acidosis anything goes be above 26 is considered as alkalosis now let's go back to the question and the information provided the question says that uncompensated metabolic acidosis now just leave this uncompensated pa part for a while and let's concentrate on the metabolic acidosis just now i told you that if there is anything wrong with the hco3 component then we will consider them as a metabolic condition so in hco3 if it is something which is less than 22 we will consider them as metabolic condition and also metabolic acidosis condition so the options provided over here we have two options left which is option c and option d in which your hco3 value is less than 22 yes or no so we have narrowed it down to the two options which are option c and option d now you if you remember i told you in the beginning that ph is like a father of this family so if ph always decides that which side the component is going to move so if ph is less than 7.35 then only we consider it as the acidosis and if it is more than 7.45 we consider it as alkalosis now the compensated and uncompensated part plays a major role now here we have been uh, told that it is uncompensated which means that there is no changes going to be there in the ph which means ph has to be less than 7.35 right so here in this options if you observe the only option c is having ph which is 7.3 which is less than 7.35 so that option accurately fits our criteria of the diagnosis and which can be the most likely uh, readings for the abg analysis 
now just suppose if it was given compensated then definitely instead of what happens that pH tries to compensate and balance whatever the deformity is present in the pHCO2 or HCO3 and because of that pH will change their value and try it bring to the normal value which is not in this case that is why we are looking for the pH less than 7.35. So I, now I hope that you have understood this concept and understood the question as well as the reasoning for the answer. Alright, so I hope now you have understood the concepts of ABG analysis and if you have really understood it, just write in the comment that what other three options are signifying like option A is signifying what, option B is signifying what and option D is signifying what. And let me know that how much you have understood these concepts. And as this question has took a lot of time for us, I am going to answer the next question in the next part of this video. So watch that video as well because I know the next question which was asked on the Friday also was a tricky one during this week which is question number 31. So see you guys over there in the question number 31 explanation.